Hello! In this video, we'll take a look at tabs and groups in the Node-RED dashboard. Let's get started. Let's start off with pulling in a few dashboard nodes. Uh, maybe a button. Oops, maybe a button. A switch, maybe a couple switches. A slider. Maybe another button. We just need a few nodes to help go through some examples. Now that we've got the nodes out, let's switch over to the dashboard view. And there's a few tabs here. This we can add in tabs and groups. This site tab has options that are global to our dashboard. Same with the theme and same for this angular tab. Let's go to site first, and in here we'll put in the title for our dashboard. So let's just say sample dashboard. And in the options, we'll show that in the title bar. Click to show side menu. What this does is shows the different tabs. We can always show the side menu or the tabs. We can show icons or we can choose click to show side menu. We'll leave it there for now. Now we click on layout and here's where we define our tabs and our groupings. So here we'll click on tab. And by hovering over this portion you can see we can add a group, we can edit this and also change the layout. So right now let's go ahead and add a group. Maybe we'll add one more group. Let's add another tab. And within this tab, we'll define one group. So now on this tab portion, we can click on Edit. We'll just leave these as they are. And we can edit tab two. And again, we'll leave these as they are. So now let's go into some of the group options. So if we click edit here, we can see group one. We can tell which tab we want to be used and we can specify the width. So now that we've got some of these tabs and groups set up, let's go ahead and configure some of these nodes to go onto some of these different items. So we'll double click this first button. When we click on group here, you'll see the different choices we've already set up. So we'll leave this to group one and click on done. We'll double click this. Maybe we'll put this on tab one, group two. Click done. We'll put this in tab two, group one and done. Let's take this switch, put this on tab two, group one, and we'll leave this at tab one, group one, and click done. Now to see how this looks, we'll go ahead and click on deploy. So we've added another tab, and now you can see we're looking at the node red dashboard. So for tab one, here's group one, here's our slider, and our button. These don't do anything. Obviously we haven't configured them to do anything. Here's our group two with our button. And here's where that option comes into play about clicking to see. So now we're looking at tab one. We can click over here and look at tab two. And now here's our group one with a couple of switches that we put into place. So if we'd like this to always be available, we can switch back to our first screen. We'll click on Site, and then here, click to show Side Menu. We'll click Always Show Side Menu. Click Deploy. We'll flip back to the dashboard, and now you can see our tabs are always available. We'll flip back to the first screen. Go back to Layout. If we want, we could add another group.
add another tab maybe a couple more groups in this tab we'll click on deploy so now we'll drag out a few more items maybe a date picker color picker we'll double click these and we'll put this in tab 3 group 1 Double click this node, we'll put this in tab 3, group 2. Click on deploy. So we'll flip back to our dashboard and now when we click on tab 3, you can see we have our items. Let's flip back to the first screen. Now something that's really neat you can do is these groupings and these items within the group, you can see we can open this up and look at all the different items we have in place. And it's real simple. If you wanted to move, let's say, this color picker from this group up to this group, we can just drag and drop. And we can take pretty much any element we want and move it around. Now we can also take these groups and move them around. So if I wanted this group one to be in this tab two, I could just drop it there. Now you notice they've got the exact same name and it doesn't seem to care that that's the case. But if you want to change the group name, you could just click on edit. We can just say test one. And maybe we can change this group name to test two. Click on Deploy. We'll flip back to the dashboard. And you can see our changes are in place. And you'll notice that there's no Tab 3. And the reason there's no Tab 3 is because Tab 3 doesn't actually have any items in it. It's got a group, but there's nothing within a group. Or we can double click one of the nodes that we want to change and make that change from within the node. So again, we'll double click that. We'll click on this group and then tell it where we want this node to be at. Maybe we'd like this button to also go to tab three, group two, so we could from here change. Done and deploy. Go to our dashboard and you can see tab 3 is back with our changes. There's one more thing I'd like to point out. When you click on edit in the group, you'll see this allow group to be collapsed. So by checking that and then update and deploy, when we flip back to the dashboard, you'll see that now this group I can collapse it and expand it, where these others, by default, will not allow you to do that. That wraps it up for this video. Thank you very much for watching. Stay creative.